All right, <clears throat> so let's put it back together. All right, let's set this aside. First step is let's get the slide. The, the first item that you want to put into the slide is the, uh, mag or is the uh, recoil spring. Put that in, okay. Then you want to slide the recoil spring sleeve onto the barrel. There's this little tapered shoulder here and this little tapered area here. You want to push or you want to make sure that those are connecting. Now these get discolored. You want to uh, put the nicest face forward or the most discolored or whatever matches. I usually put the nicest face forward. You know, so we'll do that. Slide it on. Okay, so you can see the sleeve is right there. Now, with the barrel partially in, we're going to push forward on the sleeve and get it down into that little recess. Okay, so now it's down into that recess. And what we're going to do is, we're going to mallet, soft face mallet. We're going to tap forward and down at the same time. And it's in. Okay. Very simple. Don't ever do it. <laughs> it has taken me years to figure this out. I, 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 I'm not kidding. It, it is not worth it. Don't ever do it. Uh, lock the slide open and, and, and clean it from the outside. Like I've told you, watch this video over and over again if you really want to see how it's put together. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. So I'm going to push forward and, uh, and push the, uh, the lug to the side. To lock it there you go so now it's locked forward it's the next step all right now I'm gonna put my recoil spring and my firing or I'm sorry my firing pin spring and my firing pin so this is the 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 part of the firing pin that protrudes so that'll that'll and, and actually strikes the primer so that'll go forward so you slip the spring over the firing pin this can be tricky you want to Elevate the the barrel. You want to let the pin and the firing uh, the, the the firing pin and the firing pin spring slide down, and you got to kind of line them up. Uh, see how they're they're uh, kind of off there. I usually just push on it a little bit and kind of try and wiggle it in. And it's easier to do if I'm not filming it. So, and I got it wedged forward there a little bit. Okay, tricky. But uh, you do it enough times, I, I'm going to just do it without talking. Okay, so now they're in. Push the, uh, the spring back as far as it'll go. And that'll leave enough, enough space for the bolt to go in like that. Uh, the front of the bolt first, and then drop the back. You pull the, pull the back over like that, and it'll, it'll kind of snap in like that. Uh, now at that point... I could let the uh, the the uh, barrel go, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to slide the barrel on. Before you slide the barrel on, listen to me here. Before you slide the barrel on, or the uh, the slide on, see all this junk sticking up in the rear, and you see where the previous owner has not pushed that junk down. That is not junk. That's the uh, ejector. Push that down, and that little. Uh, little angled pin there you can push down if you have the grip safety in so you push that down um, and if you if you're good at it you can slip it under and just pinch yourself a little bit there um, if not uh, you know just use something non marring not not a punch to push that down as you're getting the slide on do that very slowly so you don't damage your gun this one's already damaged that's kind of why I'm showing you so at this point You'll notice it, it won't go back any further, and, and the reason is because I've still got that barrel turned to the side. Uh, so remember, the direction of that barrel was counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, and it's going to jump forward. Okay, we're back. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this barrel clockwise, and that uh, it's going to jump uh, back. Like that. Now it's a uh, it's pretty much in line. Okay, there we go. Now 
Um, everything's lined up except I need to put the pin in. So again, you've got to push down on the grip safety, line up the, the little hole there, hold it. I've got, see how I've got it with my left hand like that? And then push the pin through. I try to line it up to be uh, like as, as nice as possible. It's not really necessary, but I can push it through with my thumb. Um, some people might need a, a mallet. Uh, if you need to, you could push it through from the other side with a with a very small punch, not 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 one uh, full size like this, to get it through. But <clears throat> um, whoa, that's it. I'm done. Uh, so that was real simple.